Hi, Jaybot here, back with another video. It's awfully bright. I don't know why. Down camera, all playing up already. Oh well. Anyway, Jaybot back here for another video at last. I'm sorry it's been a while. It's been about 10 days, I think. And even longer since I've done a toy review. I am sorry about that. I have just been busy with one or two things, which I'll get into, and I haven't got around to doing it. It's also. <laughs> Related happy birthday to Andrew, Andy, Cup Commander. I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh well. Happy birthday for yesterday, and I hope you got a good time. We got loads of goodies. In fact, I know you've got some goodies because I've listened to the podcast. Awesome haul. Um, anyway, so I have to put this up as a thing. Um, on to pickups. As of course you know, I went to the. Autobot City meetup in London last weekend. It was a weekend before last. Damn that. Uh, awesome. Very awesome. I am sorry. I wasn't able to go to the evening bit, unfortunately. That's just the way things go. I didn't get any accommodation sorted in time, one thing or another. But them's the thing, so I'm sorry I missed that in your performance, Gerard. I've seen the video. Bloody awesome, as always. Uh, and as soon as I have the money, oh, I will get that CD. The Cam Done one. Anyway, on to my pickups from there. As you've already seen, <laughs> I got this set up Rampage. Beast Wars, Trans Metals, Rampage, and my first of Trans Metal. The others I've got Trans Metal 2. Awesome figure, awesome robot mode, awesome crab mode, awesome tank mode. Transforming to tank mode is a bloody nightmare. He really is. But nah. Oh. I have no idea how difficult. What idiot gave him proper tank treads needs shooting. Because they are bugger to get by. Anyway, that's him. And the other thing, I know it's a bit bright. Oh god. Gee whiz, uh, that's better. And I'm, I'm like completely happy. Picked up this Transformers, which one is it? Maximum Force. No, the Titan books. It is Titan, isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Four quid. And Rampage, of course, which was mint in boxes, like five quid. Other stuff I picked up, um, thanks to Fred, thank you for pointing this out. I got Waspinator from Toys R Us the Thursday before I went to uh, the meet. I went and got my ticket sorted out. Could not get him. I want him. They did not have him from Toys R Us, as I said. In fact, in my other pissed J blog, I think I mentioned I couldn't get him then. And I may have shown you this already. I'm just realising now. So if I have, it's because I can't remember what the fuck I put in that review, in that blog. I'm fucking pissed. So what happens when you go and meet friends and get the bus? When you go to get your bus? Oh. Um, yeah. Oh, God. I don't know if I did show you. Anyway. Back to that. I tried again last Thursday on my way out to Birmingham, which I get into to get him. No luck. Not on the shop floor. I asked someone and when I found someone, he ended up being in the game section, which doesn't help. If he's not on the shop floor, we don't have him. However, I pointed out to him, well, you've got a trolley for the transfer boxes on the shop floor. Could it possibly be in there? Because I saw there was at least one or two boxes of deluxes, animated deluxes of this wave, which is Samurai Pro, Waspinator, and Blur. So he said, Well, um, I don't know, I don't work in that section, I'll try and find the person that's meant to be putting them out. Quarter of an hour, 20 minutes later, I get someone coming up, some section manager who said he was 100% sure in this sealed box of animated transformers of this particular wave that there wasn't a Samurai Prowl in it. Bullshit. He could not be asked to look. 
So screw him. I am pissed off. I will get it somehow. Anyway, that's that. And apologies if I have shown you that in the other video. I cannot remember what went in there. I can only remember bits. Which is not good. Um, anyway, on to the Birmingham bit. And speaking of Birmingham, the next MBT meet, Moon Base 2 meet is going to be in Birmingham, which will be awesome. No date as of yet. Dates are being thrown around for the end of March. Um, second week of April, I think, around the 10th or after then. Which would work out for me, because like a few other people, I work at weekends. So, if it's done in April, it's the start of the new tax year. So, you know, I get my annual leave sorted. I suppose I'll have my job by then. Um, so it just makes life easier. Uh, anyway, oh, and thanks again, Timey, for organising it and for organising this one. And I hope you're feeling better with your what's going on with you. Um, anyway, I went to Birmingham this week to see the WWE uh, wrestling, the WWE Raw House show, which was awesome. I had a fifth row seat, which was good, apart from an arsehole sitting next to me with his uh, son that had to be only five years old, I think, who he insisted on having on his shoulders the whole fucking time. So, probably meaning that at the points where you were allowed to stand up, me and everyone else around had to stand on our chairs to be able to see over him, which one of the ushers twice told me not to do because it was dangerous, ignored the others, so fuck him, basically. And that did piss me off. Anyway, I did go to Birmingham, I went there on sort of the first day morning because I thought I'll have a look around. Eventually found a uh, forbidden planet. That was a bit of a bugger to find. Um, and we got. Oh! <sighs> Breakdown. I also got this from the comic shop by the Holiday Inn. Well, auto assembly is, which is why I stayed, and that's weird staying there without you guys there. Believe me, it's not the same. I got City of Fear. I got from Green Planet Last Stand. All fall down. Which I should have got in London and didn't because I thought we already had it. Uh, Matrix Quest, which I have actually already got in the best of the UK thing, but didn't realise. But for four quid. And these are all four quid apart from the City of Fear, which is 15 quid. Uh, and Legacy of Unicorn, which is hard to find. As hard as Tiger 2006, which I've got, I think. I got them. Also went to HMV and got this, which is very good. Um, an update, because I know my other video, I don't think I can remember, but uh, I did say my PS3 died. I got the error of death, and I had one on the way. Well, this is heavy because it's got the old one in it. Although there's not a lot of difference in weight, but it came today. I have the bugger. I have the slimline one. Oh, it's a different shape, and, um, if I try and show you without blinding you. It's a different shape. Um, it's... Uh, there's not a lot of difference in weight, to be honest. Um, it is... I will show you. They say it's not backwards compatible, they're lying. Basically, to the point. Which I'll show you in a minute. They've taken off two USB ports, which I can sort of understand. There's a pain, and the other the card drives that it has on it, which I can understand, sort of. Um, apparently, it's meant to be 32%. They use 32% less power, yet yeah, they've got rid of the switch at the back, so it can only go on standby. Work that one out. Anyway, onto this 
backwards compatibility thing.